And now, to introduce the contestants. Firstly, in the red corner, entering the ring with a record of 26 wins from 31 contests, wearing the black and silver shorts at yesterday's weigh-in. He scaled 10 stone, 6 pounds, 8 ounces. Please welcome, from Paisley in Scotland, tonight's challenger, the former undefeated British welterweight champion, Kevin McIntyre. And across the ring this evening is the reigning champion. He enters the ring with a perfect 17 wins from 17 contests, with 10 of those wins coming inside the distance. Wearing the red and white shorts at yesterday's weigh-in, he, sc he scaled 10 stone at 6 pounds, 8 ounces. Tonight, he makes the first events of his title. Please welcome, from Sheffield in England, the undefeated and reigning welterweight champion of Great Britain, Kel Brook. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Okay guys, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time and defend yourselves at all time. God bless, let's do it. Touch them. Touch them. One well, of British Ladies boxing's top referees, two, Victor Lockland. For the welterweight championship. Of Great Britain. For this cracking clash on paper that may produce one of the British fights of the year. So many have been relishing this contest. The young unbeaten Kel Brook with all the potential. The wily southpaw stylist Kevin McIntyre, who's in the best form of his 10 year career. It's the orthodox puncher against the southpaw Slickster. A classic confrontation, Glenn. Yeah, it should be. We've been waiting for this one for a while. Finally, it's here. We watch Kel Brook caught. We haven't seen a great deal of him. Just rose through the ranks quite quietly, but when it mattered, we got the British title. And we'll find out who deserves to be called British champion. Good job from Brook. You may have the speed on McIntyre. Scotsman will need to get into a rhythm like he did against Kevin Anderson behind that jab. But he has been beaten five times before and stopped in every one of those. He exudes confidence, doesn't he, Brook? Yes, he does. He's quickly found his range landing against the southpaw with the jab, which is very good. It's usually hard to do so quickly. He's got his rhythm and his range. He's been sparring with Junior Witter, and that's a lovely right hand, and down goes Kevin McIntyre inside the first minute and a half. And that was a bad knockdown so early. This could be something special from Kel Brook. Nigel Wright ripped apart Kevin McIntyre, Glenn, and Brook is out to do the same thing. Yeah, we know he can be stopped. I said he had the range. Certainly shot it there with a right hand beautifully. Oh, that could be Curtis down again. Not sure he's going to make it this time. The counts at five, six. Is it going to be stopped? He's bravely on his feet. A double knockdown in a dramatic first two minutes. A Calbrook with a body shot now. Oh, it's all over for Kevin McIntyre. And Calbrook emerges at 22 as possibly a big star of British boxing in the future. What about that? Well, fantastic finish, wasn't it? It was punch perfect. Absolutely. Right from the very first jab, got the range, and he didn't miss with anything. And that was a terrific performance. And we maybe have a new star on our shores. Kevin McIntyre just being tended to as Kelbrook is raised aloft. He said he'd do what Nassim Hammer did all those years ago and go into hostile territory like Hammer did in Cardiff against Steve Robinson. He looked totally assured. He picked his punches beautifully. And there's the respect for the former British champion. Kelbrook, 18 on the spin. And that proves 
He really is a very good fighter indeed. Yep, he got his range, the jab was right, and then the right hand came in beautifully tanked. Just waits for the jab to come out. Just steps a little bit to the right and then lets that right hand go with power. You know, he, he's solid on his feet. He's got good balance, the same as Hamed has. And certainly got the punch power.